so this morning we're going to discuss about uh, module one quarter three so the title is states of matter so for module three we're going to discuss all about matter so there are i think six modules for this quarter and the module that was distributed was module one Okay, so for module one, these are our objectives. So meaning at the end of this session, we're, you're going to be able to distinguish between matter and non-matter, identify the states of matter, the basic states of matter, and then able to describe the properties of each state of matter. So what is matter? In grade seven, I know your teacher discussed already the meaning of matter. So when we say matter, it is uh, anything that has mass and occupies space or takes, takes up the space. So when we say takes up the space, it talks about volume. So anything that has mass and volume is considered as matter. And a thing that do not have any mass and does not take the space or occupy space or no volume is considered as non-matter. So in the universe, our universe is made up of two, two things. We have matter and non-matter. So from the definition of matter above, we can say that a thing is a matter if it has mass and occupies space. And if a thing that has no mass and does not occupy space, it's considered as non-matter. So, what are the examples of matter and non-matter? So, the examples of matter are the food, eat, trees, air, smoke, and water. So, as you can see, in the example of matter, we can identify that these examples could be in a form of solid, liquid, and gas. So what are the solid for this example? We have wood, trees, we have liquid, the water, and we have gas, the air, and smoke. So for the non-matter, so these are the examples. Usually the example of non-matter are energy. Okay, like light, heat, sound, okay, uh, abstract concepts like love. These are not matter. Why? Because these things do not occupy space and don't have mass. That is why it is considered as non matter. Did you understand? Yes, what, ma'am? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Very, very good. So actually, there are seven, as of today, there are seven states of matter or phases of matter. But we will focus only to the three basic states or phases of matter. We have solid, liquid, and gas. So let's, let us describe what are the characteristics, how the molecules of these three basic states of matter move. Okay, so all matter, it could be solid, liquid, or gas, are made up of a very tiny particles called atoms. So this is the basic, the basic or the smallest part, the smallest particle of a matter, that's atom. So when these atoms combine, so when there are two or more atoms that are combined together, it is called as molecule. So this is the example of a atom, it's only one particle, and another atom, one particle only. But when two atoms combine together, this is not considered as atom, but it is called as molecules. So an example of this is water. Our water is made up of two kinds of atoms. We have the atom of the atom of hydrogen and oxygen so that is why water is 
written as H2O. Let's proceed. Okay. So these particles, atoms, are in constant and in random motion. So kahit na si solid siya or liquid or gas, still the molecules or the particles are in motion. So what causes the motion of the particles? It's because of kinetic energy. Okay, where did that kinetic energy came from? This is when we apply heat on an object, it gains kinetic energy. That is why the molecule will start moving. But even if we will, will not apply any heat, still the molecules are moving. But if we're going to describe the, the molecular motion in solid, liquid, and gas, it's greater in gas. And then followed by liquid, and then less motion or molecular motion in solid. Okay, so if there are particles inside so inside the solid liquid and gas there are also forces that exist between particles in particles and within the particles so that is why there is what we call as bond in the one that the force that bind the molecules or the particles are called molecular forces so there are two types of molecular forces. Dependent kung ano yung uh, saan siya nag -aap. So if the attractive force, the one that holds within particles, are called intramolecular forces. So this is an example of intramolecular forces. The force is within the particles. Kasi kung walang forces within the particles. What happened is the proton, the neutron of that particles will be scattered. So, meron siyang forces na nag -hold together. And that is what we call as intramolecular force. There's another kind of an attractive force that hold between or among particles. And this is called as intermolecular forces so from the inter meaning between so there is also a force that hold between particle one and particle two and among so the the the, the particles will not scatter anywhere okay so again what are the two forces from suha Intramolecular, intramolecular forces and intermolecular forces. Okay, very good. Next, so let us describe the molecules of solid. The molecules of solids are very close to each other. So solid has a definite shape, mass, and volume, meaning Fix na ang iyang shape, fix na ang mass, fix na ang iyang volume. Okay? Even you're going to transfer solid from one container to another container or one place to another, still fix ang iyang shape, mass, and volume. How about the attraction between particles? Okay? So the attraction between particles in solid is held together by a very strong forces wherein the motion is in a form of vibrations. Vibrations because they are in a fixed position. So kung mapansin natin, kahit naka, parang naka-steady lang yun siya, still it will move in a form of vibration. So parang Right side, right side, right side, right side. 
And that's for the solid. How about for the glue? Okay, for the liquid, the molecules of liquids are close. So solid, very close. For liquid, close to each other, but can move past one another. So they can move or nudge. Nudge means collide. So liquid has a definite volume. So fixed ang volume niya. It will not change, but has no definite shape, meaning it will change. It will take the shape of the container. Meaning, if we're going to transfer liquid, like water or any liquid, it will take the shape of the container. Triangle ang container mo, it will follow a shape. It's a shape. Magiging triangle ang shape niya. So, walang fixed na shape. But, its volume is fixed. How about the attraction? The attraction between particles is strong. Compared to solid, very strong, maintaining a definite volume wherever particles nudge. Nudge means uh, bump, collide with one another but not in fixed position. That's the difference between the solid and liquid. Fixed and solid for liquid not fixed position. Meaning, this particle or atom can move from one to another but not as free free motion compared to gas how about gas the molecules of gas are in great distance from each other so meaning medyo malayo ang dalawa but medyo ang distance ng mga particles are very far from each other so since very far from each other they can move Freely or rapidly. So, gas has neither in the fixed a definite volume nor shape. So, it will change its volume and shape. It's not fixed. In terms of attraction, the attraction in gas, the attraction between particles in a gas is negligible. Meaning, parang wala, wala na, wala na masyado, okay? And they move randomly in any direction. So, the gas particles are compressible, meaning it can be compressed. Compressed ba? Because of lots of free spaces between them. Kasi malayo ang distance niya, pwede pa siya ma-compress. Compress means malesser ang niyang space na na-occupy. Okay. There are some properties of matter that we're going to discuss in this module, but we will only select some, not all. In grade 7, I think your teacher discussed also some of the properties of matter. But we will focus only to some properties of matter related to the states of matter. And one of these is the mass, the mass of matter. So when we say mass, this is a measure of the amount of matter the object has. So if the mass of an object is 25 kilograms, the amount of matter is 25 kilograms. And the basic unit of mass is in kilogram or kg. But there are some smaller masses that can be measured in terms of grams or g. So if we're going to describe the mass of solid, liquid, and gas, so a solid has a definite mass, meaning fixed mass, even when you're going to transfer it from one container to another. Liquid still 
definite a must and gas. In terms of shape, the shape is defined as the physical form of matter. Say, it could be a triangle shape, any form of matter. So, for solid, it has a definite shape. Liquid has no definite shape because it follows the shape of the container. Or take the shape of the container, same as with the gas, has no definite shape or shape is not fixed for gas because it will follow the shape of the container. Next, another property is volume. So what is volume? Volume is the amount of space occupied by matter. So for solid, the solid has a definite volume. Liquid has a definite volume. Gas has no definite volume. Compressibility, another property. What is this? Compressibility is the amount of how much a given volume of matter decreases when placed under pressure. So a matter can change its volume, given volume, if pressure is applied. So the tendency the matter is it will compress. Okay, so for solid, it's not, cannot be compressed actually. Kahit ano pang gawin mo sa solid, kahit i-hammer mo pa yan siya, ano pang gawin mo, solid cannot be compressed. Liquid also cannot be compressed. Can be compressed but negligible extent. Parang hindi na masyado mapansin. Kung meron man siyang na-compress na very, 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 very small. Okay? But gas, obvious, it can be compressed. Okay, fifth, properties of matter, expansibility. Other word, I write this as expand, expandability. Okay, but still, uh, consider that in class. Uh, expansibility is the ability of, of uh, matter to expand or be expanded when it is applied. Actually, all matter, if it is applied by, uh, acted by a heat or added by a heat, it will actually expand. It is, is what we call as thermal expansion. So, this is also the cause of change in matter. So, yun din ang dahilan bakit ang isang matter from solid magiging liquid. Liquid magiging solid. Gas into liquid. Okay? Mag-change ang matter, um, ang phase niya or state niya because of the application of heat. Uh, solid has a very slight expansion. Liquid slight expansion, but gas has a great, greater, the greatest expansion among the three. The six properties of water that we're going to discuss is about density. What is density? Density is the physical property of water that expresses the amount of mass per unit. Volume. So, the solid has the highest density, the liquid has its medium density, and the gas has the slowest, the lowest, the lowest density of 